So in this video, I'm gonna go over these three little small power inverters. And what these inverters are, they take the DeWalt 20 volt battery. So I have a fully charged DeWalt battery here, and I'm gonna test each one of these and kind of see what my finding is. I'm gonna use a multimeter and we'll check the voltage in it. So I also have a power drill here, which is a big DeWalt hammer drill. And what I'm gonna do is that uses up to 700 watts of power, and that's gonna test the actual like overload shutoff on these things. Let me just get each one out of the box. By the way, this one right here will go up to 220. This one goes up to 200, and this one goes up to 200. There is a little bit of um, instructions with each one of them. I'm gonna keep them separated just like that. Let's go over the instructions on this. Now, each one should have a fault overload, and they also all have, so this one peaks out at 250 watts right here, 110 volts of output on it. If you don't overload protect these, you can ruin your batteries. So you really want that feature a lot. And also we wanna see how much the um, voltage is coming out of these. And then you got the USB outs right here, the C, you got a 30 watt, and then you got a little small light. So that's the on that one. Now on this one, so it goes anywhere, the AC is 110 to 120. USB, once again, is up to 20 watts on the USB on that one. And then you got the Air Icar, uh, Icara. I've actually used this product before and they're pretty good products. Looking at this one, uh, 200 watts, 400 watts peak and 110 watt, 110 volts. And then the lights, oh, it's got, got a 200 lumen light. They actually put the lumens on this one and it looks like it's a 20 watt uh, type C output on this. So first off, let's just go ahead and let's test the actual power voltage of each one. So you put this on here and here's the light. The light is right there, it flips up. The blue is the USB, let's test the USB. We can plug that in and see if it can power this fan. Well, you know what, it is powering the fan. There we go, that is powering the fan with no problem. USB works, no problem. Now let's test the actual output voltage on it. Let's go, th uh, let's go 200 volts. 125 volts of power coming out of there. Wow, that's actually, that's higher than what it claims is on it. The power outlet on the big fan right here. Well, it's powering that one, no problem. And that's on high, everybody. So the pull on that's around about 150 watts. So there's all of that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test the actual overload. So here is a hammer drill, a big DeWalt drill. Let's plug this in. Now this should shut off when it goes up because if it doesn't, it's gonna damage the battery. Hopefully I don't hurt my battery. Oh wow, I'm at full power. Everybody, that's about 700 watts of pulling power right there. That's not shutting off. I'm not gonna go anymore, well, okay. Well, 700 watts of pulling. I don't know if that's a good thing on there. <laughs> so there's that. So let's go ahead, let's try this one right here. This one's just called power inverter. One putting down right there. There we go. One, two, three. Just got three modes of operation on that one. Let's test the USB. Yeah, I don't see any problems with the USB on that. Now let's test the power outage on it. Once again, the fan right here, this large fan should. I've got it facing that way. This, like I said, will go up to about 100 watts, maybe 150, which is well in the range of these. These things are great for just running fans or something like that. Yeah, I don't see any problems with that. Let's test the actual voltage out of this thing. Voltage is 85 volts coming out of that outlet. They've got it rated from 110 to 120. All right, now let's try to overload it. So trying to overload it, like I said, this will go up to 700. 
It just overloaded. Okay. Well, that one faulted out. That one faulted out instantly because this starts at like 300 and ramps all the way up to 700. So that one will fault out, but it only had 85 coming out of the actual outlet there. Let's try the Erica Ikiri. Once again, let's do the USB first to turn it on. I think we just touch it like that. You can see the little light coming on, testing the light. Oh, wow, that's nice. So one, two, three, three on that one. Try the... Oh yeah, that's working no problem. Okay, there's that. Let's try the big fan. Well, that's working fine. I don't see any problems with that. That'll probably run this for a while. All right, let's see what the voltage is out of this thing. 89.5, 89, 88. So it, it, when I put it in, it started at 90. So I think it, let's just say that it can go between 88 and 89. So it has more voltage, it's crazy. So here's how this works, everybody. This has more voltage, but it doesn't have a shutoff on it. It doesn't seem to want to shut off at the proper power outage. This one has less voltage, and it does have a shutoff, but it has less voltage on it. This one has more voltage. How is the automatic shutoff on this, the overload protection on this one? Starts out at 300 and ramps up. Well, instantly. Well, that was within a second. Look at that. Well, that ain't gonna work. Let's try to reset it and try that again, just to make sure that one wasn't a fluke. There we go, we are reset. Yeah, the overload protection works on that one great too. So everybody, it looks like this one right here doesn't have an overload protection. It has higher voltage, but it doesn't overload protect even after like 700 um, watts of power. This one has a lower voltage out of the outlet and the overload did work on it, but this one has a higher voltage and the overload works on it. So in my opinion, I think this is the one I'm gonna go with. I've tested all of these. I'll use this one on like some smaller kind of electronics, but you gotta be careful not to overload that because you'll ruin your battery but i think this one right here is probably going to be the best bet going forward because they're all in similar price ranges here you need to supply your own battery to each one of these by the way that can pretty much work on a wide variety of stuff actually i just noticed something check out how i can adjust this light up up and down where this one doesn't up and down so there you go there's another feature on this that doesn't have this one adjust but it's I, i'm a little nervous running too much power out of this because it definitely Definitely will not fault out at 220 watts, that's for sure. So yeah, there it is, everybody. That's my findings on these things. So that's all I got today, and I will uh, see you all in the next video.